Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. How are you guys doing today? I am doing fantastic. I am so excited because today's the day, guys. This is it. We are going to finish this guy, this base. You can see above my head, uh, pretty ugly looking ceiling there. It's not going to be ugly by the time we're done with this episode. It's going to be amazing. And you know why I know it's going to be amazing? Because I've already seen it. <laughs> because somebody sent it to me. Yes, you guys really came through. I asked for some help, some inspiration for the ceiling, and I got it. I got it. I got a lot of designs that I loved. I mean, a lot of the designs came my way in Twitter. I want to thank you guys so much for that. Uh, those of you that were able to put something together and send it to me. Oh man, just so many great builds, so many great designs that you guys came up with made it really hard for me to choose. And I narrowed it down, and I finally decided which one I'm going to use. And I am going to use a design that Fetcraft, is his name on Twitter, sent me. And it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. I can't wait to, to build it here and show you. And thank you so much, Fetcraft, for sending that my way. <laughs> really, really appreciate it. But guys, I got to get... I gotta get supplies for it. This thing's not cheap. It's not gonna be cheap. And so I'm gonna start having to gather some supplies. It's gonna take me a little bit of time. And as you can see, I am, I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm hurting. If you look at, I got my armor's hurting. I've lost my pants. I've lost my helmet. Um, my bow is down to 10 uses. That's not gonna do. Um, I'm gonna need a fortune pick. I don't know what happened to my fortune pick. I think I lost it. And if you don't know how I became so poor and broken here, uh, check the live stream replay that I posted a couple days ago on the channel. I'll put a link on, on I'll try to put it on screen. Um, if you don't see it there, then it's in the description. Uh, go ahead and check that out after you're done watching this episode. Uh, because it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Tango and I attempted to catch a ghast in the most insane, unefficient way possible. <laughs> and yeah, we got we got our butts handed to us. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we were catching a ghast to get into Biffa's Museum of Everything. I think that's what he calls it. Um, and so... Yeah, yeah, a lot of trial and error, a lot of trial and error, but we had a good time. And a lot of people liked uh, seeing that replay as well. And so it's not something I think I can do every stream. It's one of those things that it takes a lot of time. Uh, I mean, we stream for four hours straight, and, and that's how long it took us. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it, but yeah, we stream for four hours straight, and... Um, you know, to watch back that footage and kind of pick out the best parts of it, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. And so um, I know you guys really enjoy watching it. Those of you that, that have watched it really liked, li liked the highlights and have left some really positive feedback. Um, but it's just it's, it's very time consuming on, on my part to do it because, I, I mean, you basically end up watching back the entire four hours and then cutting and then editing. I mean, it, it's, it, it's a good six, seven hour project by the time you're done putting the highlight reel together. So, um, yeah, I would love to do it every stream. I don't know if I can promise that, but if we have a really good stream, like what I felt like the last one we did was really, really good, um, then I'll go ahead and do that, you know, as long as I'm not totally busy with other things at the moment. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It was a, it was a good, good, a lot of good <laughs> clips in the highlight, you know, we had a ton of fun and, uh, wow, this is loud. I'm going to turn this down. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, well, nope, not graphics, not graphics. Let's turn you down. The Endermen are going to be loud. I'm heading to the Enderman farm, by the way, because I, I need to do some enchanting. And like I mentioned, I want to get geared back up. And then we'll go resource gathering. And yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. So I'll go ahead and go punch some Endermen for a while, get geared back up. I'll show you what I end up getting, I suppose. And then maybe when I go resource gathering for the ceiling, do some montage type stuff, and then we'll get to building. So all right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I am feeling so much better now. I have nice gear again, and uh, yeah, I got myself a new helmet. It Actually, we got a really good one here. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, and some Aqua Affinity. Um, so not bad, just one enchant for that, and got all three of those things, so pretty good. Uh, got a decent chest plate. Um, actually, I just needed to repair this, actually. <laughs> it's the same one I had before, but I did have to use a bunch of diamonds to make a new one and repair this one. So this one's nice and repaired. Protection 4 and Breaking 3, uh, and then a new pair of pants. And mm, it's okay. It's got Unbreaking 3, which is nice. Fire Protection 3, um, I think that's 
the only fire protection I have, so that's good. Uh, it's always good to have a little bit of fire protection on you. Um, so yeah, armor's not too bad now, and I got my my Fortune 3 pickaxe back from Tango. He hopped on the server, and I found out that we had just swapped pickaxes. So um, I had repaired his already, and he gave me mine back, and it's actually in decent shape, and repaired my bow. Um, that was pretty good, and now that's fully repaired. That's nice, and yeah, good to go. Um, Hey, monkey! <laughs> and yeah, okay, so now, now that I got all this stuff and all this gear, that means I can actually go get my resources for the build. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this, guys. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. I need like so much stuff quartz, I need nether brick, I need diorite. I mean, I'm gonna be resource gathering for a while. So I figured why not just I'll make a little montage bit out of it. So basically I'll just keep recording and I'll go start collecting the materials and you know, I'll cut up the footage a little bit and put some music to it. And that way you guys can see, you know, see how hard it is for me to get this stuff. <laughs> so all right, here we go. Oh man, I am, oh, I am beat. That took so much effort to get all these materials. Man, I had to oh, I had to run all the way over to Tango's and back like three times. That was rough. And in finding stuff in his chest, you know, I mean, and pulling them out. Oh, that was that was a lot of work. <laughs> oh, thanks Tango, man. Really appreciate it. He guys, before you go rage on me and it go run and tell Tango I stole all this stuff. He's cool. I talked to him. I talked to him. I told him I was, or asked him if I could borrow some stuff so I could uh, get started on this and get this episode out to you guys as quickly as possible. And of course, of course, guys, I will be paying him back. I'll be doing the grind off camera between episodes and getting this all back to him. So um, no need to no need to go start a whole bunch of hate or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, this is this is the material that we're gonna be using for the ceiling. Um, nice nice combination. Uh, it fits with what I've got so far nicely and the way that we're going to lay these bricks out on the ceiling. Uh, it's going to be really cool, really cool. Uh, what I would really like to do, what I would have loved to have been able to do, I should say, is do some sort of time lapse where I just have like a camera that's kind of sitting down here and looking up. But I think for me to be able to actually build the ceiling, I'm going to need to give myself like a builder's platform up there that's going to block the view. So logistically, there's really no way I can time lapse this for you. There's just no good place to put the camera to do it um, that I won't be blocking with my own kind of dirt pillars and things like that. So instead, I'm going to have to resort to jump cuts and uh, basically I'll just build up uh, a little bit of it and come back and show you where I'm at and give you an idea of what it's going to look like and then um, do that a few more times, I suppose, until it's done. And then we'll have a final product by the end of the episode, which would be really, really cool. So thanks again, Tango, for letting me borrow your supplies, man. Really appreciate it. It helps me get on with the project and get this get this episode out a lot, lot sooner. So yeah, let's go see if this water will turn off after I sleep. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to get started on the ceiling and I will beer me. All right, I changed my mind, of course. <laughs> That's what I do best. <laughs> um, I was gonna just build a little section of the ceiling and then come back and show you and then keep doing that until it was done. 
but I thought it might be cooler for me to just do the whole thing and then just show you. That way you're not kind of seeing a half finished thing as we're going along. I thought it'd just be, be better to do just one big reveal. So here we go, you guys ready? There it is, pretty sweet. Yep, that's, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, that's just a little dirt platform I made so that as I built the whole thing, I wouldn't be falling all the way down here and that kind of stuff, just made it much easier. Um, but I think what I will do is I'll just come in the middle here and I'll look straight up. Oh, you get a little sneak peek already. You look, I'll look straight up here and then I'm gonna make a cut where I remove all the dirt and then you'll see the, the ceiling revealed. So here we go. All right, and there, it is. This thing is so amazing. Thanks again, Fetcraft, for sending this design to me. I love it. I love it. Just the detail in it. Oh my gosh, the colors, everything about it. So amazing. So, so amazing. I, it's hard to even just capture this whole thing in here, but oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I'm very, very happy with this design. And it did take quite some time to build, of course. Uh, it took me a little longer than I thought, but oh, so, it's so awesome. So glad that's in now. Very happy with it. There's one last thing to do with it before it's completely done. And you can see right there, there's two sea lanterns hanging, and the rest have this cool glass design around it, uh, glass panes. Well, we're gonna make a big chandelier right there in the middle. A lot bigger than just those two sea lanterns. So I'm gonna do that in just a second. But as I was building this, I had a visitor stop by. Oh, and now, now we got <laughs> we got the, the waterfall nighttime outside. Oh, oh look at that. We're, oh, we're protected. Biffa's down there standing guard. It's all good. No, but Biffa stopped by and he left us this here. And let's see if we can get this book out of here. <laughs> and let's go ahead and read it and see what this is all about. Welcome to the first, the head games. Hashtag THG. You have been chosen as tribute for your district and will compete in the head games. Your head is needed for display in the capital, AKA the museum of all things. The first head games will be televised on the tubes of you <laughs> for all to enjoy the spectacle and, rev and revel in the delight of your head being displayed in the capital for all to see. Your head may be removed at any time, so prepare yourself. There will be no winners, only headless losers. Good luck and let the games begin. President Biffa Capital, AKA Museum of All Things. <laughs> okay, so apparently, Apparently I need to keep my eye out for Biffa because he's gonna be coming. He's gonna be coming for me. And I'm not sure <laughs> uh, what to expect with this at all. Um, like, should I protect myself when he comes for it? You know, make it a challenge or should I just let him have my head? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's already given me one of, of, of his apparently. Yep. <laughs> so we could, put, we could put that on right now if we wanted. <laughs> oh, you can't just shift click it in there. Oh. Yep, there we go. Here, maybe I'll just wear it, and that way when he comes for me, he'll get, he'll get like, confused. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, all right, cool. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm sure he's going to catch me off guard, and hopefully I'll be recording when he does, when he does, so it's, it's you know, good fun. And I also got this. I also got Happy Hunting Mumbo, and I got my diamond. Uh, you remember a few, was it last episode? Uh, we did the, the egg hunt for Mumbo. And we went around, and you can see the eggs are still up. I took down mine in my base, of course, because, yeah, I'm <laughs> working on my base, and I wanted to show this to you guys, and I didn't want a big egg in here. And, yeah, now we have this. But uh, I'm ready. I'm ready, Biffa. Come get it. Come get the head. You got to earn it, brother. I think I will fight back for sure. Here, let's put this away so I can pick up some stuff. Too much stuff on me here. And uh, drop some of this. You can see I had a lot of dirt to make that dirt platform. But all right, there we go. Did I get it all? Did I get it all? Oh, missing that slab. Let's find that. I'm sure it's somewhere. And there it is. Yep. Put that away. Don't need that. Yellow. Oh, good. Thanks for the stained clay. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, there, that is better. We are cleaned up. I'm gonna leave that there because I'm gonna have to build uh, a little platform. Actually, here, let's see this. Uh, I'm gonna build a little platform again to do the chandelier and then I'll just do a cut and show you the chandelier. Here we go. All right, there you have it. Chandelier is done. Look at this thing, so amazing. 
Looks so good. Looks so good. I love the way the glass panes look uh, with the kind of the edges glowing the way they are. It looks like the light's kind of going through, hitting it, and then just illuminating the edges. That looks so cool. So cool. So that is done. And uh, yeah, now we just have some, some minor details to take care of. Oh man, let's just let's just walk in this room. <laughs> let's just get the you walk in, you're just like, oh, look at that ceiling. <laughs> That's so amazing. And now I don't feel so bad about the walls being kind of plain because we have such, you know, the, the ceiling drawing your eye, the floor drawing your eye. And so I think it's I think it's okay to to have a little bit of monotony here on the walls with all the gray and <laughs> the logo. Man, okay. This place really came together. I am really happy with the way it turned out. We got a little bit more work to do though before I can call the this whole base here at Herman Hills done, which <laughs> it's kind of funny to call it a base. It's not really I mean it's just like a storage room. <laughs> it's like a little storage room in Herman Hills. That's really the the whole point of it. I have nothing else really going on inside of here. Um, but storage, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. You need to. Oh, I just wanted to have a presence here in Hermit Hills, you know. So as people kind of walk through, you know, they can see this and tour inside. Now will be be great. And uh, but I got. Oh, look at all this. I got to do something with this. It's not lit up at night. Um, I need to do some kind of better lighting so I don't have uh, all the mobs out here. And just up here on the the entrance here, I want to fix up. And then also, I wanted to fix this. You guys can't see, but um, the piston arms. You guys didn't like it when it's extended that you could see the, see right there, you can see the heads of the piston. And then when it's extended, you can see the arms. I think I'll push them one back and then put blocks there so that that looks a little better. I might, maybe I'll use sea lanterns too so that there's actually like lighting there. Um, yeah, either way, they'll be lighting. If it's open, you'll see it on the edge, and if it's closed, it'll be right above. That'd be cool. And then I got to just kind of close this off, and I got to figure out how to do that and how I want that to look. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of a few things off camera, and then I'll just come back and show you what I've done. So see you in a sec. All right, so I've got some things taken care of now, and I think I'm done. I think I'm happy with it. And uh, I want to show you exactly all the changes I've made. You can probably see already I've added some lighting on this little bridge here uh, because commonly as I was coming to my base, I would have to fight creepers and skellies and all sorts of stuff on this bridge. You guys probably remember from uh, past videos that, that happening quite often. So I went ahead and just put in some sea lanterns here on the sides. Um, and the reason I did it on the sides, like on this level, is because we're standing on top of a half slab there. Uh, but wherever there's flat floor, I put it in the ground and then just covered it with this light gray carpet there. Um, and so I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty close to the color of the slabs, um, so it doesn't stick out too much. You know, I didn't want to go to crazy and just, you know, put wool across the whole thing or anything like that, um, because then we get to the half slab level and it would look kind of funny. But uh, yeah, so I got the side lights on the half slabs and then on the regular level we have those kind of going all the way up and uh, kind of went crazy up here with the lights just, just did every other block just to make sure. And you guys can see, I threw down some torches on the mountain. I was gonna do the, the fancy jack-o'-lantern and cover it with jungle leaves thing, but just the way this mountain is shaped, I really couldn't do that in a good way. I couldn't like hide the light and then have it not stick out too much. You would either see the leaves on the, the side of the, the mountain or it just didn't, or a hole basically, it didn't, it didn't look good. Um, but I went ahead and patched a, a few things up. There was some holes in the side of this mountain that I patched up. I, I kind of changed this here behind the mailbox to look more natural with the mountain. And uh, what else, what else? Oh, I put uh, some lighting in uh, up here on the stairs, just some kind of recessed lighting with white glass in front of it to kind of set it back so it's not as visually distracting. Uh, you can see I actually have like a, a, a roof on here now to kind of cover this up and make it all look like one whole thing. A little tiny chandelier to help kind of bring in this, you know, the, the style of the, the ceiling in here a little bit. The only thing I don't quite like is that coal right there. Um, Cause that is, that is basically this uh, right here. That's that coal for that. And I couldn't really cover it up unless I moved the entire waterfall back one. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. So instead, I just try to drop down the trim here a little bit to cover it up uh, best I could so it's not as much of an eyesore. But uh, yeah, yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. And you can see what I did with the, the ceiling here is I basically just inverted the style of the stairs. 
So you can see that, and it's just kind of going up and follows that. And I kind of like how it comes over and curves down a little bit. I think it gives it nice, nice little detail there. Oh, and also, of course, uh, I took out the uh, piston arms. So now we have sea lanterns holding back the water, and at nighttime, those sea lanterns will get attracted, and uh, it looks nice and neat now. So yeah, let's see. Did I do anything else? I can't. I can't remember. I might have missed something because um, I did quite a lot. Just just minor cleanup details and. Ugh, it's it's always the little details that take the longest, but um, I am I'm happy. I'm happy. I I I don't ever want to say something's a hundred percent finished because you know at some point I'll see something that irks me and I'll come back and and fix it or do something different with it. So, but I am gonna be solid on this for now. Like I I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I can I can walk away knowing that if anybody comes to visit my base here at Hermit Hills. It looks good. It looks good. There's there's not a lot they can say or see that's gonna irk me at all. <laughs> and hopefully they all think it's pretty cool too. That's the whole idea. Is I want the other hermits to come in and, and just be like, wow, <laughs> this room is pretty cool. So yeah, but oh my gosh, this this episode, I went through a ton of diamonds. Um, you know, the, digging out the ceiling, I had to repair my pickaxes a couple times. Um, you saw I started the video needing to get a bunch of uh, new armor and things like that. And so my diamond supply <laughs> is, is really low. It's really low now. I, I literally think I have like half a stack of diamonds to my name. And so what that means is I need to go mining. I, I need to go mining and you could do some branch mining j mainly just to get some diamonds So you guys if you stick around for the patron mining that I've done in the past You'll, you'll know that I've been really really unlucky with getting diamonds <laughs> So I'm hoping today's the day guys. I'm hoping the day's the day. I need diamonds. I need more <laughs> Need supplies in general. I'm getting really low on, on just about everything and so today I'm actually gonna dig out more than more than two patron mines. I'm gonna dig out like I don't know maybe six Six, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to start digging and, and see how far I feel like taking it. But uh, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm not going to dig it all on camera to a speed up time lapse type deal. Uh, I think I'm going to dig it and maybe montage it just a bit. I'm lost in here. Ever since they made these changes to the Nether Hub, I get lost in here. Okay, I think this is the right direction. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig out a whole bunch, maybe just montage it a bit. Uh, so it'll be a little bit different, hopefully a little bit more enjoyable. I know that not everybody likes watching me branch mine at the end of every other video like I've been doing. So try to spruce it up, and uh, at the very end, I'll just kind of go over. Uh-oh. Oh, we still got problems here in the nether. You guys hear that? They still mad. Huh. I bet you, I'm telling you, I bet you there's a pig man somewhere that's like holding something, and it's just like, permanently aggroed <laughs> and so now every hermit that comes in the nether just like re-sparks a chain of aggro and uh, we've been dealing with it for about two days now which is crazy so anyway um yeah i'm gonna head on over to the branch mine and get digging and then i'll just cut back uh, or I'll, I'll start the montage and then i'll cut back and show you what i got at the end <laughs>
All right, there we go. Six branch mines done. And you can see what I did. I basically just would run the run their branch down and then just throw the stuff that I got from it in here. So I did that for all six of them. And so I could easily just calculate when I was done what we got. And you can see right off the bat got some diamonds, which made me very, very happy. So Aspie Gamer 13 had 14 diamonds, 141 lapis, zero gold, 125 redstone. And you can find him on Twitter at, at AspieGamer13 if you want to say congratulations for finally hooking me up with some diamonds. That was a nice start. And uh, but you know, things things took a turn pretty quick. This this whole branch mine thing seems pretty hit or miss. And the next one was Russ is loud, and you can see kind of hit a dry spell here, Russ. Sorry about that. Got zero diamonds, zero lapis, zero gold, uh, but did manage to get 125 redstone. So you can see that's in the chest there. All right, moving on. The next one was cocky. Oh, you see, I've been I've been having some zombies getting getting in fights with me here. <laughs> Next one is cocky, and we got some more diamonds. So, like I said, hit and miss, hit and miss, kind of, kind of strange. But uh, so we got eleven diamonds, zero lapis, zero gold, and two hundred and seven redstone. So got that in there. So thank you, cocky, so much for your support. Next up, we have dragon spite, and uh, again. Back to the zeros. I don't know what's going on here. We got zero diamonds, zero lapis, zero gold, and more zombies to fight. <laughs> oh, shh. Quiet. <laughs> and 178 redstone. Thank you so much, Dragon Spite. And did I get all that in there? Yeah, yeah. All right. Next up, we have Iris. Back to getting diamonds again. Like I said, it was like every other one. So strange. Iris, seven diamonds, 12 lapis, zero gold, and 159 redstone. And Iris can be found on YouTube at gray one nines. All right, and for the final branch here, we got, you guys are already looking at the numbers. Look at this, look at this. We got some more diamonds. So so for once we had a back-to-back -back diamond run here. That was good. Uh, this one's the Alpha Bravo, or wait, wait, wait. AB Kilo from YouTube is his Twitter handle, if you want to hit him up there. Um, but it's Alpha Bravo Kilo is his name. And he got 23 diamonds, 32 lapis, one gold, and 128 redstone. And you can find him on uh, YouTube as well at the Alpha Bravo Kilo. There should be an O, but the sign ran out of letters. Uh, but you can check out his YouTube channel. Uh, I think he does some recordings from uh, the, our Patreon server. And so you can check him out there. But that's his YouTube channel if you add the O on the end of that. Uh, but anyway, good run there. Good haul. 23 diamonds, 32 lapis, 1 gold, 1 23 redstone. That was, that was really good. So let me just grab the diamonds here. And let's see what our total haul of diamonds was because that's what I was worried about all right look at that we almost got a whole stack of diamonds some good lapis too for enchanting gonna need that 55 diamonds today guys I feel I finally feel like these branch mines have contributed what they should be um, so that was nice to see but uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button for me. It really does help. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And with that said, I will see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.